Jesus! What the fuck? Just kidding. <laughs> hey, what's up, ghouls and gals? It's me, Rob here, and today I'm gonna be reviewing James Silent Bob reboot. Like all my new movie reviews, I'm gonna keep it short, sweet, simple, and to the motherfucking point. Alright, let's get it started, ghouls and gals. Jay and Silent Bob Reboot is the sequel, well, rather the reboot, of Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back, which was written and directed by Kevin Smith, and this also is written and directed by Kevin fucking Smith. It also stars Kevin fucking Smith and Jason Mewes, who also plays Jay, and it also stars Kevin Smith's daughter, Harley Quinn Smith, and these awesome, awesome girl actresses, well, an actress is a girl, duh. No shit, Sherlock! Uh, who, who star as the girl gang in the film. Um, the film also has numerous cameos from the Viewskew universe, which means cameos from characters that come out that came out in Clerks, that came out in uh, Chasing Amy, that came out in Mallrats, that came out in Dogma, and all of other Kevin Smith's films. If you didn't know, um, all of Kevin Smith's films, well, his early films, like the ones I just mentioned, they're all connected. All those characters know each other. You just blew my fucking mind. So they all come out in the Jane Son and Bob reboot, which kind of serves as a kind of spiritual sequel to several of Kevin Smith's films, but mostly the ones that I just mentioned right now. So let's get it started. Um, Jane Son Bob reboot. What did I think about Jane Son Bob reboot? Hmm. You know what? Let me ask my reviewing partner, Silent Ryan, what he thought about Jane Son Bob reboot. Silent Ryan, what did you think about Jane Silent Bob reboot? A few moments later. A few inches later. Well, Silent Ryan, that was very insightful and thought provoking of you. Anyways, uh, Jane Silent Bob uh, reboot was actually kind of a fun movie. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be this massive work of art or for it to be Kevin Smith's magnum opus or anything like that, but. Me being a huge Kevin Smith fan, I can honestly say that I walked I walked out from the film feeling very satisfied. He could have fucked this movie up and made it one of his worst movies. I mean, we all saw Yoga Hosers, right? And he, it could have been one of those movies, but it wasn't. I mean, it was kind of a love letter to the fans. So if you're a Kevin Smith fan, you will enjoy this film. This film has a lot of inside jokes that us Kevin Smith fans will... Uh, appreciate it and also like I said it also has a lot of recurring characters in the view skew universe that return back and it also has kind of some spiritual sequel moments in the film to uh, Kevin Smith's earlier work that everybody seems to love if you're a fan of Kevin Smith um, however I can see if you're not a fan of Kevin Smith uh, you won't enjoy this film for the reason that you're not a fan of Kevin Smith you kind of have to be a fan of this director and these characters to kind of want to watch this movie that's kind of the point of this movie this movie is Again, it's a reboot of Jane Son and Bob Strike Back, and it's kind of a reboot slash sequel slash remake. As Kevin Smith puts it, it's a film about reboots while making fun of reboots and remakes and sequels, etc. And for the most part, it does a good job of that. The movie is actually pretty funny, and all of the really cool cameos throughout the film really boast the film up instead of making it feel just like some like star-studded bullshit fest and. It isn't that. It's a really fun film for, for fans of Kevin Smith. I feel like I've already said if you're a fan of Kevin Smith like a million times, but that's who this movie's for. This movie's for us, the fans, in the same vein of you wouldn't go watch a Marvel movie if you don't like Marvel movies. It's the same premise here. You wouldn't go and watch James Todd and Bob Reboot if you're not a fan of Kevin Smith movies. Um, I don't want to give away too much about the film plot-wise because the film is like really plot heavy in the, in the way of like Kevin Smith movies if that makes sense I mean uh, of course it does have the you know reboot plot Jane Silent and Bob are headed to Hollywood to go and stop the reboot of the Blood Man and Chronic movie just like they were doing in Jane Silent, Jane Silent and Bob Strike Back where they were trying to uh, stop the live action version of the comic book characters based on Jane Silent and Bob well that sounded a lot more confusing when I said it out loud but yes that's what the movie's about and um, 
it does a good job of that and it also throws in some other subplots it throws in some other cool things that i think fans of kevin smith oh, that's again said it again will enjoy uh, so for that i have to give the movie a uh, 7.5 out of 10 i mean it was an enjoyable film for again if you're a fan of kevin smith and uh how, but however i feel like if you're not a fan of him and you're just like barely finding out about his movies and you just like sit down and watch this movie you may not like it so for that i have to give it a 7.5 out of 10 well i'm ryan t and snoochie boochies